Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a night of a celebration of youthful exuberance and talent. And now please welcome to the stage your host, your MC for the evening, a man who looks a little like Brad Pitt and a lot like Ruda Luntman in the final days of carte blanche. Go wild, it's Alan Kimiti! How delightful, give them another round of applause. What a start. Man, oh, let's sit down. Oh, all right, stand up. <laughs> Look at him, amazing. We love them. Thank you so much for joining us on this very special celebration, a showcase, as you know, of the UCT Symphony Orchestra and the South African College of Music Talents. We also recognize all the teaching staff, the brilliant lecturers, and those people behind the scenes that have made this evening possible. But look at these lovely, gorgeous, amazing, talented young people, and Brandon. <laughs> oh, it's fine, he can't hear. But the point is, he went deaf about four or five years ago. Um, this is a, an honor, as always. Uh, it was it two years ago that I hosted the same event? Was it a year, year ago? It was a while ago. I know it was strange then because we had the screens up, didn't we? It was still during uh, the, the kind of partial lockdown and uh, they had to separate uh, all the parts from each other and there was a natural antagonism as there often is uh, between the violins and the cellos. They've never been bosom buddies and that's why I have to separate them uh, between maestro. And, uh, but now, of course, we see everybody's faces and to see your gorgeous faces here and to really connect once again in an evening on, of celebration. And to see so many of you, people who couldn't get tickets to the carnival, coming here to... <laughs> That's what's happened, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's fine. We're gonna have our own carnival and we're gonna have so much fun. And to see your faces, to, to see... To... <clears throat> I miss masks a little bit. I'm gonna be honest with you. Now, that please, hear me accurately. Most of you are incredibly good looking, but some of you, I would still like to see in masks. Now, that's just me. That's just me. Don't take that personally, please. Uh, let's quickly talk about this. We're going to meet some of these gorgeous and talented creatures uh, in a little while. Uh, the height of these microphones suggests that these soloists are very short this evening. I can't wait to see them in action. <laughs> what are they actually amplifying? We don't know, but it's uh, very, very exciting. I'm coming to you now. And um, so that's exciting. And then also to note that the block of wood is something that Maestro brought from his garage earlier today. Thank you, Maestro. You've really gone all out. Designed by ESCOM. So that is very, very helpful. Uh, talking of which, tonight, the good news is here at this Baxter Hall, hall um, we uh, are not affected by the load shedding uh, because all of this is acoustic. I say that, but I see there was an electric guitar there's a man playing an electric guitar in a country with no electric. <laughs> what a sad choice that man has made in terms of instrument. He's probably only gonna pay, play one eighth of his career for the rest of his life. Change, buddy, this is your time. Change now. Just play one of these silly instruments. It's going to be easier. Don't need no plug-in. Um, <laughs> and it has been mad, hasn't it? Because the load shedding, even though in Cape Town, uh, Maestro, you know this, we're always uh, one or two stages below the rest of the country, but mathematically it can be tricky. This afternoon, I hear now we've gone to stage one at, uh, between four and six, but in Joburg, they at two between four and six, then at seven, we all go to three. Then at eight, they go up to five, we drop to two, carry one, <laughs> multiply by the water restrictions, <laughs> and then you get a free coffee from Discovery. So that is... <laughs> It's actually, it's a lovely time to be alive, isn't it? <laughs> Don't look at those people. These jokes only arrive there on Tuesday. <laughs> so they won't be laughing yet. But on Tuesday, they're gonna have the time of their life. So we're gonna get on with the program. I'm so excited to be here and to be part of this. In between, I'll be chatting little bits. And then the big news is, and I couldn't believe this, this lovely lady here in the front. I wanna say Margarita, but I don't think that's your name. What is your name, lovely lady? Bronwyn, very close. Bronwyn <laughs> has volunteered to sing extracts from Britney Spears' back catalogue in Hebrew. So that is very, very exciting. And she'll be joining the orchestra in the second half. And there is no second half, so that's going to be really exciting. Time that properly. 
Our first item uh, to begin the evening is an opera item, and to that end, uh, we're going to welcome our uh, soloist in a moment, but also uh, uh, give uh, acknowledgement to Jeremy Silver, the director of the opera school from UCT, and Patrick Ticolo, the head of vocal studies, as we hear now a beautiful number from Puccini, O mio babino caro, which in Italian means, will the EFF do any damage on Monday? That, I, I don't know, I don't speak Italian, so I don't know, but I think that's accurate. Excuse me. So is that something you had for lunch? That's fine. Uh, please welcome now our soloist, Setswana Nseki, and enjoy this beautiful number. Exquisite. Um, as you know, uh, this uh, South African College School, uh, the, the South African College uh, of Music, rather, uh, and this particular orchestra are feeders to larger music bodies around the country, and we're thrilled to announce that two of our postgrad students have auditioned for the Cape Philharmonic Orchestra last week, and congratulations to Nicholas Brainers and Rebecca Bielders for winning Violin Post. Stand up, there we go, well done. Beautiful. The, the only thing to note there is that this is, they, that's not actually the instrument of choice. Um, actually, Rebecca plays the bassoon and Nicholas plays the glockenspiel, um, but only the lower notes of the glockenspiel, and yet they won the posts for violin, so tonight they're playing in the violin section for the first time, and uh, they seem to be coping very, very well. This is unbelievably exciting. Uh, Please don't cough. And so, for heaven's sakes, right on my shoulder as well. Um, <laughs> and now we turn to a beautiful number, Meditation. Um, and this will be played uh, by Peter Hubert, uh, who is, I think, our first violinist. Hello, Peter. Uh, Peter Hubert on the Afrikanometer, which measures how Afrikaans your name is. 
comes in at 8.8. .8, so that's, that's quite good, Peter. Um, it Peter a tweeter now? David. David. <laughs> it's just clocked the game. It's coming in at 11.8. That is exquisite. Uh, Peter is going to be played, and he is a student of Farida Bakarova, who is the head of the string department. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, meditation of the violin and the orchestra. Feels <laughs> geluk.
baie prachtig, mooi gespeel, baie, baie mooi. Ek het dinge daar gevoel, I felt things in my very deepest part of my, are you alright maestro? You're, you're, and I'm emotional too, the way you were playing. All right, that was incredible. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's clear, if you look at the violins, these are the, these are the prefects of the orchestra. Uh, these are, the, well, I don't know what you've done, but your hair's nice, but it, it, you shouldn't be. You should be a viola or possibly cello, but you're here now with the violins and that's fine. But these are, you watch them play, it's perfect, it's concentrated, it's studied. And then these are the rebels, uh, these are the kids. Yeah, look at them, wild hair, look at that man. He's got hair that doesn't even stop. The hair goes into the upstairs studio at the Baxter. And then we've got the percussion. They always put percussion as far back as they can. Those are the slightly slower kids in the orchestra. You have to put those. It's fine, they don't. No, joking. I'm not joking. And uh, then we've got the electric man and the brass and the woodwinds. And then there's just people right at the back who are not even part of the orchestra. They are part-time Jehovah's Witness recruitment program officers for the greater Rondebosch area. So we are grateful. But joining us there, we can give them a round of applause. Please welcome the yes, the Jazz Choir. And here are soloists. Beautiful. Uh, this next item uh, is under the tutelage of Amanda Tiffin, head of the jazz department, with Amy Campbell as the conductor of that jazz choir. She's also arranged this wonderful uh, item called Paradise Road, which is, of course, as you know, between Wetton and Ottery. <laughs> Without any pain I know Cause I, I believe 
continue your applause and thank Carly Barandella and Marzia Barry. Those were your soloists and the brilliant jazz choir. Beautiful. Uh, tonight, of course, is a celebration, but we also take a moment now uh, to remember and acknowledge the brilliance of two people in our industry who passed away this week. The one, of course, all of you will know, the acclaimed South African jazz singer Gloria Bosman, who died earlier this week, and uh, the South African uh, College of Music had the privilege of having her as a student in the jazz program in 2021. And that was a year in which she left uh, uh, an incredible and, and indelible mark not only on the staff, but on all the students. Uh, she will be forever remembered as one of the greats uh, and for her immense contribution to the South African music industry. And then some that you might not know, or someone you might not know, uh, that passed away this week was the former Artscape uh, CEO, uh, Michael Mars. Uh, Michael was a passionate player in the industry, will be remembered again for the brilliant development of Artscape through a tricky a transition period, but also for his development of young musicians. Uh, through his involvement as chairperson of the National Youth Music Competition. We remember these two uh, folk uh, with great fondness, and uh, to pay homage to them, we will listen now to uh, Nimrod by uh, Algar.
Our, uh, <clears throat> our next two items are very different in nature, but both brilliant. Did someone, are you calling out? Yes, yes, she sees you. Fantastic. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, joining us upstairs there uh, are members of the African Music Ensemble, and they are uh, lectured by Dizu Plikes, the legend that is the head of African music. And we also give special thanks to lecturer Bronwyn Clatchety for setting up the ensemble and the, log uh, the logistics. Um, and this piece is called Temba Liadanisa, and that will be followed uh, seamlessly by under the uh, batonship of um, Maestro here uh, into a wonderful number by Bizet. Um, a lot of people would say Enfant du Temple Saint, but that's not how you pronounce it. It's Enfant du Temple Saint. Which is something I had last week, and the doctor applied a cream, and it went away very, very quickly. If you do ever get an enfant de Toulouse, do try and sort it out sooner rather than later. But the bise which they applied was very, very helpful, and it's now just a small scab. So that is... Um... <laughs> you haven't laughed at anything yet, please. I'm trying my best here. I really am. You're looking at me. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. I'm trying my best here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, out. Um... Our soloists for the Bizet number will be Luvo Maranti and Sipe Kwani. But first up, this wonderful number from the African Music Ensemble. Thank you. 
dramatic piece there outlining Helen Ziller's relationship with Twitter. <laughs> Unbelievable how they got all the emotion out of that. Uh, you will have noticed there uh, the tenor uh, characteristically with the open shirt, the chest hairs, looking like a, a veritable Tom Selleck magnum. Uh, he of course is the Lothario and welcomes the love interest of men and women. And then the bass next to him ready to stuff him up every time he gets out of place. <laughs> That is true of all opera singers, don't mess with the bass. Um, and the tenor thinks they get the person, but they don't in the end. It's the alto. So there we are. So that's very, very exciting. Please, I know your orchestra and know your opera singers. Uh, the next two items, are you still there? I thought you'd gone up. Uh, the next two items, uh, this is exciting. Uh, this is a very popular piece written by the nonagenarian John Williams. And of course, it is the theme uh, to Star Wars. And in it, you will notice now, Maestro, I've known for many years, and he's super talented. Uh, you can only see his back, and of course, you have a very attractive back, I say that. Uh, no, you do, and uh, it's very uh, co communicative, is a word I'm using now, I've made it up. And, uh, uh, but you will also be a batoning, I think that's a, a word from the Latin, batoneo batonere, uh, batonui, batonititis. <laughs> well, you don't know, do you? Yeah, you don't do Latin, I do. So, um, not only will you be conducting, but you, in the Star Wars, but you will be conducting in the style of Darth Vader, which is very, very exciting. Yeah, so good. And then the first violinist, um, it, what, it was Peter, ne? Peter, you will play Luke Skywalker, okay? And then at some point, watch out for it, it's very subtle, he will shout out, Daddy! And that will, be, but he will do it in Afrikaans, Papa! And that's a vile acrivious. It'll feel like a Steve Hoffmeyer evening. So that'll be very, very exciting. So that's the first item, Star Wars. And then a lovely segue 
back into the African Music Ensemble who will join us for a superb piece called Itlejo Lekula. Enjoy. Yeah. 
another round of applause. Brilliant. Beautifully done. African Music Ensemble. Uh, also, can we uh, give a round of applause because the brass came into their own there, didn't they? In the Star Wars and the percussion did their part. It was fantastic. Yes, we like that very much. I love uh, film music, very evocative. I'm a big film buff. Do you like movies? Do you enjoy movies? I watched the Avatar movie that came out. Have you seen that? Avatar The Way of Water. Has anyone seen that? Very good. Three and a half hours long. So by the end, it is very much the way of water. Uh, you do need a break. Of course, in Afrikaans, uh, Peter, Avatar is a water. So it's actually a water, the way of water. So that makes sense, doesn't it? It's a pleasure. Uh, James Cameron, who directed Avatar 25 years ago, gave us the blockbuster Titanic, which was also the way of water. Uh, <laughs> is that too soon? You'll let me know. And, um, but it was seen as a prequel to Avatar Titanic. In a way, it was a, an icebreaker. It, uh, it, yeah, I know. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Not all the jokes are for now. Some of them you can enjoy tomorrow on your own. But it makes sense that it was a prequel, Maestro, because at the end of Titanic, when the boat was sinking, all the passengers were in the water freezing, and they turned blue. And that was the start of Avatar. It's a pleasure. So, um... I try and bring you links that you haven't noticed before. Now, it's time to move on with an item called Moving On. <laughs> it's a pleasure. And we welcome back the jazz choir, who've been standing there so very, very diligently. And uh, we have this next item, so let's enjoy it. Moving on. Not you, you stay. Keep moving, keep on moving Don't stop, you're gonna keep 
Millicent Melissa Cam Lugusa. Give them a big round of applause. Joined by the brilliant jazz choir. Wonderful. This is, are you having a good night? Oh my goodness, this is tremendous. Only four or five more hours, and I tell you what, <laughs> before the interval, and then we're gonna really kick in. Now, Maestro, I've known you for so many years. I knew you when you were so small, and you looked just over that knob there, and it was tiny. Now the baton is tiny in your little hands. But you know, the truth is, sir, you and I have, when we look at the young talent here, the extra, sit, what's going on, sit down. And uh, <laughs> where were you going? Concentrate, for heaven's sakes. You chose that instrument, now you stay with that instrument, okay? This is not a time to leave, okay? Oh, is everyone moving? Oh, you're moving! Oh, we need to create space, is that right? We're going to bring some extra performers just because we we thought it's not full enough on the stage. But also, Maestro, the honest truth is we've seen enough of you. And so I'd like, you, no, I'd, I'd say this with grace and love and respect, but make like Andre de Reiter and go before you pushed. That's, that's what I'm saying. Give me your baton, thank you. Even this bearded man who's just come, oh, thank you, have you got two? Oh, bless you. Is that a, oh, aha, on God. Uh, all right. What the, who are you? Someone from Artscape, probably. Anyway, um, right, go, go away. Uh, give Maestro a round of applause as he leaves. We love him. When I saw them do this in the rehearsal this morning, the first thought that struck me is, why didn't they just stay like this in the beginning? It would have given me more space. But anyway, um, this is tremendous. Thank you very much. Uh, this reminds me when you're in London, how much space is at a, at a premium. I stayed in a hotel there last year, and the key card for my hotel room kept getting um, kind of jammed in the mechanism. We found out afterwards it was catching on the window ledge. On the, yeah, that's how tight it was. So. It's a very small room, but now we've made space for members of the School of Dance uh, under the choreography of Billy, and then uh, to conduct us in this next piece, please welcome a postgrad student, well-known orchestrator and arranger. It is our conductor, Damien Fillander.
President spoke at the last State of the Nation. What about us? It's the start of us waking up. Coming. 